There's Foresho triggering his haste group, wanting to turn around on top of maybe with the Dragon Tail stun. He's got the one charges if he feels like Breathe Fire is going to be useful against the Invoker, which it looks like he does, maybe. Just backing up behind the tower. He's still got that Fairy Flower available, which he'll let off as RK came in for the Decay. That would have actually been the death of maybe if he didn't have it. So the Tombstone dropped by RK behind the tower, very easily picked off. And now S4 trapped. He's still in dragon form as RK, trying to give as much support as possible. Where's that Sorit? Where's that Shallow Grave? EGM was out of range for the Shallow Grave. And Loda, a little too late on that Song of the Siren, catching four, but Sila moving in for the pincer around the sides. He's got Mana Void available. He could take a lot of life off EGM. Instead, he finds himself chasing after RK instead. Oh, that would the have SB been... charge keeps coming. Is ROTK going to go underneath the tower, bashing into Arke? Is there another strike available? The Mana Void's going to go, but the Shallow Grave. Arke turns for a double sun and Bulldog. The perfect time to come in for the Raw. Turning around this gank. Siler still uncertain about where to go. Maybe it's being forced out by the illusions of the Naga Siren. And Siler will... And Bulldog can see him perfectly. Like, if he roars from here, they can cut through the tree line. In fact, he actually cuts through the tree line first with the axes. S4 body blocked up a little bit by Arke. He'll still get in range for the Dragon Tail stun. But then the EMP Tornado, Sila, he blinks away. Bulldog's completely out of mana. They're going to Fiend Scrip him up, even though ROTK's charged. He's going to take care of the rest of it. Arke, going to get bounced back. He's got the, uh, the Tombstone to try and help him out a little bit, but it's just not enough. And a big survival there from Sila and a failed gank attempt from Alliance. Who is continuing to get closer and closer to that Radiance. And again, remember, this is what I said. You need a lineup that can kind of fight around without your core. And that's what they went for. And more engagements at top is maybe he's now going to go down. What? As does the Bane. What? That must have been... What? That was just two heroes by them, I believe. It was for EGM. Yeah. They went for EGM under the tower. There's nothing I can do about this. It seems to be the right choice, too. Oh, oh no! no! Well, you show that melee creep. Stunning the boar. Gives you flashbacks to Soshka. Never nice. forget. They understand that the charge is coming. EGM, he needs a lot more help here. And ROTK, there's your Orchid. Dazzle's going to go down for the count. The rest of the team's filtering in, but... Oh, they jump. I don't Sila. know if this is a fight you want to take. He Alliance. blinks on Bulldog. They're going to reset this. The Song of the Siren, the Necro units are down for... Actually, he hasn't triggered the Necro units just yet. But they're looking at Sila, but they stun on ROTK. The BKB's there from S4, but the Fiend's from DDC is holding S4 in position. They burn through the Tomb Zone. ROTK trying to make more space with a charge through, but they're just getting spill damaged out by S4's Dragon. There they go with two of them down. The burn happened the entire time. And LGD unable to inflict any level of damage in that fight. In the fight, because she's so much less afraid. But so the charge is going to come in. They're all weaved up, oh, though. Wow. And RTK gets stunned instantly. He doesn't get the charge finish. Make a nightmare and buy him some space. The roar goes on top of Silas. This BKB time is being wasted. The Song of the Siren will trigger. And this actually isolates the LGD heroes. S4 triggers his own BKB. They've still got that tombstone. So many oh, minions on the down. ground. The Shadow Wave will kick through. DDC has no chance of survival. EGM will TP out. Solo on life, which allows LGD to actually not get any kills. Gets to 1 HP, TP's out, S4 leading the way for his team. But LGD, just killing Roshan off in 20 seconds is going to be pretty difficult. Like, the Weave is also starting to affect him. Maybe he's already going into the negative armor. With a raw forward by Bulldog and the Necro units, they're starting to burn through the Invoker. He gets the BKB off, but he's already lost so much life while doing it. Roshan is a non-factor in this, apart from the fact he's actually hitting S4, but they've taken down the Spirit Breaker. Roshan will die as well, and that felt like the last play from LGD. You'll bring down, a, well, nothing. The, the Ice Blast will fly in. Right now. And from behind, RTK go. is going to charge multiple heroes. This might be their only opportunity to fight. Loader. They just song of the siren. Maybe didn't get his BKB off. So it's Sila, Sila, and only Sila who is up for LGD. They can move into ROTK, but this game is over. The GG is called as Carle will connect on us too. That is all basically five heroes. It's, the Bane's the only one that survives, but this is a game. It's created so much space. LGD was maybe a little bit too over-aggressive on that dive at EGM at top, but...